Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some middle school advice. If you guys don't already know, I am currently an 8th grader while filming this video, but when this video is posting, it will be my last day of middle school, and I will be a freshman next year, which not gonna lie is a little scary, but I did get a lot of requests from you guys to give me all of my middle school advice that I have for you, because I know a lot of my viewers are like in middle school or going into middle school, so yeah. I did ask you guys for any questions that you had on my Instagram story and my YouTube community, tab and with all of the questions that you guys gave me I put them all into little topics and then I also shortened some of the questions because I feel like I can answer more than one question within a question if that makes sense let's just get started so the first category I have is a very important one I feel like and that is friends so before I answer any of the questions I just want to say that you are going to have changes within your friend groups and your friends like it's just gonna happen that's kind of what middle school does to friendships and so going off of that the first question that I got is are my friends going to change and the most simple answer to that question is yes you are definitely not going to go into middle school with the same ones that you're going to go out of middle school with I personally started middle school in Minnesota and then finished it off in California so I did sixth grade in Minnesota and then seventh and eighth grade were in California and within the two years that I was here I definitely came out with a completely like new set of friends which is not going to happen for everybody but just be ready that the group of friends that you go into sixth grade with may not be the same friends that you're going out of eighth grade with. That's just kind of how it works because middle school is when everybody starts to change. The next question for this friend topic is how do I become friends with new people? So I know different middle schools are kind of like set up differently. Like mine personally is on the same campus as the elementary school. So middle school is kind of with the same people as elementary school, but I know that's different for everybody. And there are definitely gonna be new people. And so some ways that you can start talking to new people and being their friend is simply if you have classes with them, definitely talk to them. When I was new in middle school, that's that's literally the only way I made friends was I just talked to people in my classes and then started hanging out with them at lunch and then eventually out of school. So yeah, that's my best advice is to talk to them in classes. But also if you see like a new person at your school and you want to be friends with them, definitely go up to them and help them if they need any help finding their classes or anything like that. It's always super nice to be helpful. How do I deal with friend problems? This question is definitely hard because every like friend group is different, but friend problems are definitely going to arise in middle school and my best advice to deal with it is to just really think about like what it's about and if it really matters that much. Like if you're just having some random little argument about something that doesn't even matter, try not to make it worse because it's just a little argument. And then another question I got is how to leave toxic friends. I definitely have had those and a couple ways you can do it is you can just slowly like start drifting from them, like maybe not hang out with them as often or something like that. But you could also have like a heart to heart conversation with them about like the problems you're having. I'm not sure how well that'll go for you, but those are definitely some options. And those are all of the main like friend related questions that I got. But if you guys have any other extra questions that I didn't answer in today's video, feel free to just comment them down below and I'll try my best to get to your comment and respond to it. But the next topic I have is grades. So the first one for this little grades category is, is it hard to get good grades? Obviously the answer to this question depends on the classes that you're taking, the teachers, and just like how much effort you put into it. So for me personally, I work for my grades. I think that my grades are important, so I do my best in each class. So yeah, I don't really have like a yes or no answer. The answer to that question really just depends on how much effort you put into your classes, but also like which classes you take, because obviously if it's a harder class, it would be harder to get good grades. Do my grades matter in middle school? So I know a lot of people have different opinions on that, but I kind of think they do, because even though your middle school grades don't show up, for like when you're applying for colleges, your middle school grades affect the classes that you get in high school. And then those classes in high school do affect different like college applications. So in a way, I feel like your middle school grades do count, but I think they might count a little more closer to like eighth grade rather than sixth. But please do not take that as me saying to not try because it's always good to try in your classes no matter what. What are some tips on getting good grades? So I have just a couple main tips and those are to just try in your classes. Don't 
slack off, like make sure to do your homework. Another one is to take good notes when you have the option. So if you're taking notes in class, make sure that you're getting good notes because those can really affect like your test grades and it can just help you do better. And then the third tip I have is to really focus in class. Like of course have fun and like joke around, I guess once in a while, but don't do it to an extent where you're not learning. Are B's and C's good grades? I got this question a lot and I didn't realize like how many people thought about this, but this question solely depends on your opinion and like your family's opinion on it. For me personally, I try to go for A's and B's in my grades. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a C, but once again, that totally depends on your opinions and like your family's opinions. And then the last one for this grades topic is how do I keep my grades up? So if you guys don't know what that like kind of means, it just means that once I have like a good high grade, how do I keep it high and not lose it? The tips that I have for that question is the same as the ones for how to get good grades. So that would be just to make sure to put effort into like all your assignments and also doing extra credit can definitely help keep your grade up because let's say you didn't do that good on an assignment, but you did do extra credit that can still keep your grade up. And then also just make sure that you pay attention in your classes and you should be good. The next topic I have is relationships. And to be honest with you, I don't really have that much like advice in this category because I've never like dated anybody. But the first question I have for this little topic is, is middle school a good time to start dating? This question definitely depends on you and your family's opinions and what works for you, I guess. For me personally, I would think it's better to start dating in like high school, college, or whatever. I don't know why, but whenever I hear like a sixth grader is dating somebody, it just doesn't seem real, if that makes sense. Like a real date, a real boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. But honestly, that is totally your opinion and whatever works for you is good. That is just my opinion on it. How do I tell my crush that I like them? This is another question I don't really have an answer to because I've never done that. But I mean, if you're feeling bold and you want to tell them that you like them, definitely try to be like good friends with them first, I feel like. Because I feel like if you're good friends with someone, then it's easier to tell them things that may feel a little bit uncomfortable to you rather than just going up to them and saying, I like you. I don't know. I feel like it would work better. But once again, I've never done that. So I may not be the best person to give you that answer. And then the last question I have for this category is do relationships last? I'm guessing this means like dating relationships, but I'll answer it for both dating relationships and friendships. So dating relationships, I have no idea. I don't date anybody. I haven't dated anybody. My opinion personally, I would think no, not from like middle school, but you never know. And for friendships, this is another thing that kind of just depends. Some friendships will last you until high school, college, the rest of your life, and some friendships obviously will die off, but that's just normal and you're gonna have to expect that a little bit. The next category I have is time management. And the first question is, how do I balance all of my assignments and all of my classes? So every middle school is different, but I'm pretty sure most of middle schools is a time where you start having six or however many periods during the day. Like you don't just have one homeroom class, you have all of your classes to go to. And at first it can feel a little bit stressful to have to deal to like go all of them, do all of your work on time and all that. One tip I would totally suggest is to get a planner and to have like a little section for each of your classes so that you can make sure you're getting your assignments in on time. Obviously that may not work for everybody, but try not to stress out too much, but also try not to just procrastinate all your assignments because that can just make things so much worse. And then the second question is, how do I make sure to turn my assignments in on time? And the last answer kind of applies to that too. And then the last question I have for time management is how do I manage my work when I feel unmotivated? So I feel like we all feel unmotivated at some times and just having homework and stuff can get super stressful. And for me personally, I'm also doing YouTube as you can see. So I definitely get unmotivated sometimes. But what I do when I don't feel motivated to do something is I literally don't force myself to. Because when you force yourself to do something that you're just not feeling like you want to do at the moment, it can make your body just not want to do it at all. And that is not good because obviously then you won't be able to do your assignment. And yeah, so don't force yourself to do it when you feel unmotivated. Try to wait a little bit and eventually you'll be okay, or at least you should. Um, yeah. 
Okay, I have two categories left and one of them is classes. And the first question is, are the classes hard? And this question definitely depends on your school and the classes that you're taking. From my personal experience, some of them can be harder than others. But if you do try in that class and you put in the work that's needed, you will be totally okay. Are the teachers mean? This question does once again depend on your school and your teachers. I personally feel like some middle school teachers are way more chill than like elementary school and they honestly Honestly, kind of seem like they would be better in a high school so yeah obviously there's gonna be that random like mean teacher but please remember that most teachers are doing what they're doing because they want you to learn and you to succeed so even though they might seem super harsh towards you it's really just to push you and to get you to be successful later in your life doesn't matter which classes I take so this is another question that's like it could go either way for me personally I feel like they matter more when you get up to eighth grade because that usually determines your high school classes and that can determine college college credits and all that kind of stuff. But honestly, if you have like an elective, choose what you want to do. Don't force yourself to do something that's not fun because you want to enjoy it. And then the next question is, are there any classes that I would suggest you guys take? So this is kind of difficult because I know different schools have different classes, but for like an elective, I would suggest doing a class that kind of fits with your life, if that makes sense. Like for eighth grade this year, my elective was video production, which obviously helps me out with YouTube. And if you want to learn a language, definitely choose a language or cooking or something and also I would suggest trying to take some accelerated classes if you can because those will definitely help you get a little bit ahead in high school and it's just super helpful. What classes did you take in eighth grade? So the classes that I took this past year for eighth grade was English and then math and for math it was algebra one which is our like accelerated course so that means that in freshman year I'll be doing geometry when the normal eighth grade is just doing algebra if that makes sense so like I'm a year ahead in math and then I did science history and then for history we did US history this year and then I did have PE but PE was online for COVID and then for my elective like I said before I did video production should I actually spend time taking notes in my classes and for me I would say yes because your notes are what help you study and prepare for tests and then obviously the tests are what determine your grade and your class and so I would personally say yeah you should I did and I did really good in my classes they definitely help but I also wouldn't necessarily suggest being that person that brings like a ton of pens and markers to class and then like does all their notes super pretty because when you do that it takes up a lot of time and you may miss some information that you need so if you like doing something like that I would suggest taking your notes in school with just like pencil jot things down that you need to know but then when you get home rewrite them because if you write them like that in class all like fancy and stuff that can definitely waste time and it can sometimes get annoying because I can like hear kids that have like their fancy brush pens or whatever and in the back of the class when we're taking notes they're like rushing because they have all their colors and they're like you know like all the time which is just a personal opinion but I would suggest taking time on your notes but not doing it to like an artsy extent unless you're at home what were the hardest classes that I took in middle school so I would definitely say the hardest class that I took in middle school was algebra one that one was definitely hard on a lot of people I did get through it though I got an A every quarter and I got an A on my final which I am so proud of but that class was definitely the hardest one I took and I literally took up three notebooks for notes and homework over the entire year and I did front and back of each page too so yeah I would definitely say algebra one was the hardest for me but I did work hard in that class so I was able to get out and have good grades and then my last topic I have is kind of just random questions that I couldn't really put in a certain category so the first one is what grade are you in currently when this video posts it'll be my last day of eighth grade but after that I will be a freshman in high school which is ninth grade how do you feel about going to high school so I'm a little bit nervous I have to say I did visit my campus a while ago with my friend and that campus is huge and I'm also going to a school of choice which means that it's not like my automatic high school that my middle school leads into me and some of my friends decided to apply to a different high school in our district just because it felt like it fit us better so I don't have like a ton of friends going there but I do have like my close friends which is nice but yeah I definitely say I'm excited because I do feel like I'm growing out of like the middle school phase but I also 
am definitely nervous. How do you deal with a period at school? I got this question so much and this was something that definitely I questioned too. I don't want to like ramble too much about my period because some people get like grossed out by that or whatever. But personally, I got my period the summer before seventh grade. And a couple things I would say about that is one, do not stress about having to change like your pad or tampon or whatever you use in the bathroom at school because a lot of girls your age are actually going through that and you may not know. So try not to feel too judged and like, you know, open the pad without a sound because that's not gonna happen. And a lot of people are going through it too. So just try not to worry about that too much. And also if you know you're on your period, try not to wear things that your period could eventually bleed through at school because that is an event that you don't want happening. It hasn't happened to me yet. I have a feeling it probably will, but it hasn't happened to me yet and I definitely have seen or like heard of some people who that have happened to and it's just not fun. So if you know you're on your period, don't wear things that it could bleed through or that you could see it through, you know, like white leggings or something. And yeah, that's kind of the only tips I have for that. What was your favorite thing about middle school? So I would say my favorite thing about my three years at middle school was definitely all the people that I've met, like not just friends, but also teachers and the freedom that it gives you because in middle school you know it's preparing you for high school so you get to actually walk to your own classes and you just get more freedom and that's what I liked about it should I care how I dress every day this question can go either way I'd say like I mean if you want to impress people like definitely go ahead and just wear what you want feel confident in your clothes wear what you want to wear but at the same time it's like you don't need to care what other people think about you like what you're wearing like for me personally I I just wear outfits that I think are cute to school. Like I wear what I want, but I don't really go off of like what other people think, if that makes sense. So you can definitely dress up more if you want to, or you could just wear your sweats. Like nobody honestly cares that much, but do be careful about dress code because I know some middle schools are more strict about it. What was my least favorite part about middle school? And I'd say my least favorite part was definitely just like the changes, I guess. Like I definitely gained a good amount of friends. I also lost a good amount of friends and everybody's just going through different changes and that can sometimes be hard on people. And then the last question I have for today's video is what is in your average daily backpack for middle school? And I actually have it sitting like right here. So I'll grab it for you guys and show you. Okay, so this is the backpack that I used for the majority of my middle school career. Obviously my backpack would probably have like different things in it on different years because this year was COVID. So like I didn't have lockers this year. So I had to carry all my books. But anyways, what I had in my backpack for the majority of this year was my laptop and it's usually in here this is my little like laptop sleeve I had any books and notebooks that I needed so currently right now I have like three books in here because it's my last week of school so I don't really need anything usually I'll have like some kind of book to read and then I do have my pencil case this one I also had for the majority of my middle school career I guess and then I did use a little like lululemon bag for my lunch and any other things that I needed to bring and then in this little like front pocket I have an extra mask and then a little like emergency Kit. If you're a girl going into middle school, I would totally suggest you have one of these even for like high school and elementary school too. These are so helpful. So currently in mine, I have like pads, liners, and just period stuff, some hand sanitizer, hair ties, chapstick, and all that kind of stuff. Those are super helpful to have in any backpack for school and I would totally suggest you guys make one for yourself. But yeah, so that is all I have for today's video. Once again, if you have any other like questions, comment them down below and I'll try my best to get to them and answer them. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. And also, since this video is posting on my last day of school, there's gonna be so much fun summer content coming, so make sure to look out for that. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!